I'm Dylan Francis and I'm playing duet or don't duet. If you look at my catalog, it's a lot of collaborations with artists. So do it, duet. I look for just that the artist kind of has the similar, not similar style, but would be willing to merge our styles together. Um, so that way both our fan bases feel like they're being acknowledged for what the, the sound that came out of it is. Um, so, and then just, if they're funny, then usually I, I want to work with somebody that's funny too, just because then the music videos that can come out of that are just golden. I feel like my favorite collaboration is uh, with Kuko. Uh, we made this song, uh, Fix Me, and the music video is is just videos that we, we put our faces onto these, these characters that are just getting destroyed. Um, so like a lot of them are getting, you know, nutted or uh, they're falling off of buildings or things like that. And the whole song is about being fixed. So it was really fun to work with him. Uh, when we got in the studio, he's just an incredible artist, not only on piano and guitar and everything. He's just like, and he's just such a cool person. Uh, my favorite thing that we talked about in the studio was, uh, He's like, man, I'm just, just trying to buy my mom a house. I was like, yes, man, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, get, getting nutted is when you, there's a pole and you, right there, just, Pah! it's a skater thing. Yeah, you, so you're skateboarding, you're trying to do a board slide and that board just flies out and you're, here's the pole. Ouch, it's the worst, it's the worst. No babies. When I was in plays, I was horrible. I was just the worst actor possible. Um, because I would want to, I would want to be so good that I would get so much anxiety, and then I would just have the worst. I would mess up my lines. I would just look at the crowd and be like, oh. so yeah. When I did, I think I did one school play, and I was like, never again. Not, I'm not. I, I like being behind camera rather than being in front of people, not on camera. It, it, it depends. Sometimes while you're making a song, you'll start getting ideas for the music video. Um, so like for nothing to it, uh, that I knew that I wanted to make that a dance music video as I was making the song. And I knew that I wanted there to be like a very easy dance move that you could do to the song. Um, just because how like the song's so innocuous and just fun so that I, I wanted everyone to be able to listen to it and to be able to do the dance to it. Honestly, drinking coffee with a lot of sugar in it is a good motivation because that'll just get your mind racing. And then uh, for me, it makes me want to go out and create um, and exercising. That really like gets your blood flowing. And you know, as long as your blood's moving to your brain, I think you're going to get ideas and inspiration for things. And then it's also just watching a lot of other people's videos. Um, like I love going on TikTok and watching a lot of the just genius ideas that people come up with. To, to encourage anybody, look, if you're doing well, I think you, sh you gotta think about what your life is, and you know, if you're being able to walk, and and you know, there, there's people out there that, that don't have a home, or there's there's people in way, way worse situations usually. Um, and so I think the thing is, as long as you're breathing and your brain's working, and you're you're able to be happy or or sad, you're 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 gonna be able to do fine, um, you know, and just keep watching TikToks and make you happier, I don't know. As a DJ, whenever I, like, my favorite thing that happens whenever I'm playing a festival is whenever you play a song that makes the crowd just go, ah! and you can hear it as so loud. If I could just have that moment all the time, man, I'd be the happiest person alive. Like, imagine if you finish making eggs and you put it on the plate and everyone's like, oh, damn. Man, my New Year's resolution is to go on tour with Young Gravy. <laughs> Who said that? Was that, was that Young Gravy somewhere in this building? <laughs>